One of the things that may be making it harder for you to pass the CPA Canada exams is nervousness. You may be anxious about what to expect, what kind of AOs are going to come up, what kind of gap standard will be tested, what formats the case will be. To help minimize surprises, to help you feel less nervous, I'm going to show you the five different styles of cases that CPA authors use so you have one less surprise on the exam. Here's the first one, the classic. This is what you see often in Core 1. It has a narrative and is followed by appendices. The narrative uses a paragraph format. It has the background info, user info, and the required. You may or may not get financial statements. The second style is short form. This is when the narrative is very short and one of the appendices gives you the background and required. In this example, the narrative is just one third of the page and the first appendix gives you most of the background information and the AOs. I call the third one the chit chat. This follows a dialogue format where you follow a discussion between users and the AOs are part of the dialogue. This can come up in Core 1, Core 2, CP, and any other level of the program. CP Day 1 always follows this format where you have a board of directors dialogue. The fourth is email format. In this style, the narrative is an email message and the records are embedded inside it. Another thing that authors like to add are sticky notes, text message bubbles, and things like that. Even this case from 2011 has a Blackberry picture. So if you see an iPhone picture or text message bubbles in your case, don't be surprised. It's just one of the styles that the authors like to use. The fifth style is presentation. This is when they show you a presentation and it's followed by some discussion or additional information. This style is flipped because you're gonna get the case facts in the appendix, then you see the dialogue that adds context to it. It has come up in newer cases like this 2022 case and in older cases like this one from 2010. So there you have it. These are the five most common styles of formatting CPA Canada cases. When you open your exam booklet, don't be nervous, you're gonna get one of these styles. So the only thing you really have to worry about are the AOs. Luckily, there is a finite number of AOs, so keep studying hard because the more you know, the less surprises you will see, and the better you'll perform. Thanks for watching.